Hello, my name is Jim Sinesco and I'm with AFC International and today, a big surprise, I wasn't expecting to, to do a, a video on this product, but I, I have in my hot little hands here the new multi-ray benzene unit. Multi-ray benzene unit, um, people have been talking about it for the last, you know, maybe half year, it's coming out and um, now it's out and uh, I'm really happy to have a chance to get a hold of one. Uh, even though it's only going to be for today to take a look at it, I want to do a real quick video for you. But uh, anyway, if you're familiar with the old multi-rays or the new multi-rays, um, it's a f up to five gas, six gas instrument depending upon sensor configurations. Had a photoionization detector in it, combustible gas sensor, oxygen sensor, H2S, CO are pretty much the standard. Uh, but you can put other different gas sensors in there like ammonia, chlorine, whatever you needed. Ray Systems also made a product called the Ultra Ray, which was a benzene specific PID type device. So you'd get total VOCs and then you'd use a Raycept tube, and the Raycept tube would filter out everything except benzene, and you would then get your benzene reading. Now, the Ultra Ray uses a 9.8 electron volt lamp to help that filter tube do its job. The lower we go down in lamp energy, the less or more selective things we see. So uh, a filter tube just can't filter everything. So by dropping the lamp energy to 9.8 and using a, a Raycept tube is what we called it, looks just like one of these inside here and that we'll talk about in a second, um, you're able to only see benzene. Benzene goes through, doesn't get retained in the tube, and if you have a PID doing the detecting, you can actually then get your direct benzene measurement. All right, it was great. Ultra rays have been used all over the place in the refineries and in rail cars, emergency response, been fantastic. Then they started saying, well, you know, what if we took a regular multi-ray, put a, uh, I guess a red cover on it, and we call it a benzene ray or a multi-ray benzene, um, and use some type of a ray sub tube on top of it and the inlet system, then wouldn't that also work? Well, with a 10.6 lamp, 10.6 lamp, it wouldn't, which is traditional what we put in a multi-ray. But yes, now the multi-ray benzene uses a 9.8 lamp. And they've come up with a, I call it kind of like a Gatling gun. I'm going to kind of bring it up close here. A Gatling gun type de device where we have one, two, three, four, five, six ray sep tubes in a device that basically allows us to, to turn it and to go to different tubes when we want to do a benzene specific. When we don't want to do a benzene specific, we just want to use it as a total VOC, there is a little collar with a little lever here. And what that little lever or push button valve does is it allows to divert the sample coming in from the inlet instead of going straight down into the instrument like it is in total VOC mode by pushing and diverting this valve, just like that, it now takes that sample coming in and diverts it through a detector tube, or a race up tube here. And you can see right here, this is one of the tubes that I've used. I don't know if you can see the resolution on the video, but it, you can actually see the reaction. We did hit it with some xylene, and you're seeing a this, this orange color indicating layer showing a little bit of a greenish uh, uh, brown color denoting another organic is coming through. So, how would we use this? Well, we would put it back. I just slid the valve back into the total VOC. In other words, we're bringing the sample in and now going straight through down into the instrument. And you can see on the instrument, hopefully you can, I'm going to try to do that. You can see that it's reading 0.1 or 0. I, I would zero this out first of all, but I, uh, just for, for today, you'll, you'll, you'll get the, uh, the, the, the gist of how this works. So right now, I'm just taking regular room air sample coming through here, and I'm doing the reading. So I'd walk around the plant, and if I'm getting any kind of an organic or any kind of a reading, um, I would then, if I wanted to find out the specific benzene levels, I would take the, the, uh, my thumbs, and you'll see two yellow little marks on the tube here and here and you're going to put your thumbs on the ends and you're going to break the tube snap snap once you do that 
you then would slide that valve on the collar here backwards and you'll see how it's lined up with an arrow on the white indicating mark on the black uh, cover piece here of the multi-ray. That's traditional, that's kept from the last, uh, retained from the last multi-ray series. And now that's, like I said, that sample's coming through this inlet, down through the tube, and out. So this means, now when I grab my benzene, I'm going to pan out a little bit for you here. Back out. Now when I grab my benzene, and what this is, this is just five part per million benzene. I'm holding my breath, don't worry. And I apply that to my gas detector. I'm going to bring it up close. You will see the detector reading. Now I can't see upside down here, but I'm at 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and now 1, 1 1.4, 1.7. Because that race up tube only allows the benzene to go through. And if I wait about a 60 second, 30 to 60 second period, I'm at, I'll be right at 5. I'm at 4.8 right now. So you can see how that race up tube is just letting that benzene go right through and it's being detected by the 9.8 lamp. Right, I'm going to take the gas off, the benzene off, and I'm going to replace it or basically use a magic marker. Thanks, Kathy. Kathy just gave me my magic marker. Now, this marker's got xylene in it, okay, another aromatic like toluene, xylene, ethyl benzene, and benzene, the BTEX components. We're going to use xylene. I'm going to take that cap and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of xylene on the cap and now I'm going to give the instrument the sample using the cap and you will see the concentration dropping. It's all the way down to, to 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. This is from the last time we hit it with the benzene. But you see there's no influence from this cap. So the xylene is being retained by the Racep tube. And I'll show that to you. I'm going to turn the, the device around. And if you look right there, I don't know if you can see it, there is a little indication, a green indication, that shows that the tube is actually, actually absorbing some of that xylene. But yet, our reading is reading zero. All right, so again, for people who have used ultra in the past, nothing's changed except the mechanism and how this works. Like I said, it works like a Gatling gun. This whole tube array system turns to get you into the next, into the next tube. We'll do more videos down the road um, and, and get more detailed as we go here, but um, kind of cool. Multi-ray, benzene uh, specific, does use a 9.8 lamp, does give you this six race up tube cartridge that rotates and you can do on the fly benzene checks as you're doing total VOCs. Very cool. If you have any questions on this, give me a call. My name is Jim Sinesco, AFC International, 1-800-952-3293. Give us a call. We'll get you more information and maybe set you up a time for a demo. Thank you.